In this video, we will introduce the KS IDE control panel. This is a great internal HMI that you can use to add objects to control your PLC motion control application. It can only be used inside the KS IDE software and not downloaded to a separate panel. But it is still very useful in order to easily set all the variables in your project. We will show you how the control panel objects are all organized in the library and how you can drag and drop them into a blank control panel or one built into a template program and how you can map variables to these objects and set up the internal parameters. I'm starting with our PLC Open 2-axis ladder diagram template program. If you go to the Project Explorer, it already has built-in control panels to run basic sections of the program. You can enable or disable the axes, reset any active drive faults, there's LEDs to show you the status if they're all enabled or not, and there's switches and buttons and objects to enter uh, speeds and positions for all the basic moves that the program can run. You can also, under a controller, right click, add control panel, and then a new blank one will be added to the project explorer. A double click to open it on the main project window. Here's a little blank space so that I can show you the basics and how to add new objects. If I go to libraries, as long as the control panel is open, it will default to the control tab, not the function block tab. We have all of our function blocks to add to our PLC programs. Controls has a list of objects that can be dragged and dropped into the built-in control panel. Some commonly used ones are under analog buttons. You can have rotary and horizontal slider bars. If you want to slide to set the a tag or a variable assigned to it. Also in LED displays, there are LED lights of different colors you can add. I'm going to drop a green LED in the project, make it a little bigger. Also under switches, there are built-in push buttons and rotary switches that you can tie to boolean variables to set them or reset them. And under text, there is static and editable text boxes that you can, for static, just show text that will never change. Or an editable tie to variables that you will either change and you want to monitor or you actually want the user to open up and enter through a keyboard a new value. For all of these, once the object has been placed, you can click on them to highlight them and go through the Properties tab under the Library section of KS IDE to edit individual properties of that object, or double click on it to have it pop up right in the main working window. I can change this to Axis Position away from the default Hello, and that will change the text. I can change the size to make sure everything is all readable. Underneath it, I want to in this editable object, show the actual variable tied to axis position. I can double click on it and then double click the variable symbol to pick the variable that's tied to that tag, that object. So I can pick axis one position. Or an alternate way to do that, I could have gone to the dictionary and found act pause one and drag and drop it onto the object. And I'll get that little plus shown next to my cursor to show that it's dropping that variable onto that object. I'll also do that with this ready to drag on my green LED light. And now if I click on that object under libraries, I can show you that yes, the ready variable did get assigned to the variable symbol property of that object. Similarly with this button that I can switch on and off, I can find a boolean variable in my dictionary for start move, drag it over, and now it's mapped to this switch object. Once I have objects laid in my project, there are another of built-in buttons on the left side of the control panel. If I want to move specific objects to the front or back, if I'm having them overlap or on top of each other. Also, you can right click to do the grid to either turn the grid on or off, and if you want to, objects to be snapped to the grid or not. 
This is the basics for the KSID control panel. In later videos, we'll show you specifically how to add objects in order to finish the exercise associated with this section.